Yeah, this is definitely a 4 Chen, even if it wasn't originally. And now this looks familiar. I'm pretty sure we saw a death here a few moments before, but it's not going to work this time because Irina's going to go down. Sven's going to be controlled up. The Chen is going to die, but now Fake Gamer, he has to hold format and move away. And with the reinforcements coming in, he can actually look to re-engage. They find AM the pick off with the Shaker. AM is going to be brought low, will be brought down. But then he played it perfectly with the with the slight of fist. Now, does he want to fight? Oop, there's Yule's coming, but look at this. There's a Remnant waiting, and the Echo Slam without hesitation. Two dead already, and this poor lion. Uh, please, <laughs> please, just have, yeah, have a mercy. Let, let him go, let he's, him go. He's worth nothing, don't do it. Okay. But now it's like when you're tanky, a bit irrelevant, right? No one cares about you, and they don't care about this Ember. They're just going to delete him. In a matter of seconds, they'll chase through. Look of that line, who never seems to escape. Just died here a few moments ago. Mars is going to be next, for sure. Yeah, there's no way he gets out. Nice little clumsy net for a whoopsie-daisy moment. And, well, Boom do have a lot of heroes here, but it's Cuckoo again, and they just don't want it. Instead, they have to run. Yeah. Zephyr's coming in. He has that Yules. He moves fast enough. Marina is going to be there. The Spear does get mistimed, though. And he gets stunned up by the Spike Carapace, so he can't pursue and look for anything. They just need to retreat. This could be good for Boom, though. It looks like they want to go. They'll move in. Dream Cell with the Shuriken bouncing around. They'll find one kill. The bounces from Lich. Not favorable with that Frost. And Cuckoo stuck on the side. This time he's not tanky enough. They will find two. Uh, I guess a little bit of a misplay. Does. And they're going to lose all oh. balance, but... Well, you got the Wukong's command down, but you're missing heroes to fight with. Hyde might die for this, but who else is going to go down? Accelerate does die. Raven. Don't know if you can man fight this for much longer. Rainforce going to come in. Looks like Carl wants to get involved, but it's going to mean they're sacrificing the life of PL. Maybe you'll find some kills now as the Monkey King, but there's the surge away. They'll be able to get them out. Makoto is safe, however, on the other side, it doesn't look good for Whitemon, who's brought down TPL just in time. Connect, and it becomes obvious that they're here now, and all of a sudden, boom, begin to just match together on that bot lane for the engagement. Jeff at low already, almost going to go down, and they do get the Wukong's command down. However, uh, Mars is already dead. He'll have to buy back. Hide on the back line. Will be found and killed off. This should just be a back away for Boom, but they don't look like they want to. Nick's buyback as Koto. well. I mean, commit the BKB. He has to find more. He'll find White Mon at least. Doesn't end up the high ground. Does allow him to come back around looking at Cuckoo next, who cannot move away quick enough. And Dreamer says, like, just milk him for more cash, please. They're coming out. Okay. They're outnumbered right now. Or are they? No, there's one hero missing. Ember was in the mid lane. Accelerate is going to go down, but maybe they can fight some return. Four stuff to get him away. But White Mon's separated from his team. He just says, go, run. Buyback will come out for the Rubik. They have the numbers now, and they are hot in pursuit. They do see Raven. If they can kill this, this might be able to actually secure them another lane as they'll chase him. Makoto, he can spam all he wants. Jules is going to come out from Zephyr. Arena goes down, pins him to the wall, but he's a sacrificial lamb. Will be left behind as PL does not turn around to fight. He just retreats. And Zephyr hit up for the E Blade, slow down. Hunt is on. Cuckoo is going to be found. Meteor Hammer to connect with his face. The heal's going to run out soon. You've already lost Zephyr. The only one you get out is the PL. And what looked like it was their maneuver, they thought they could go confidently make this with the Ember being in the mid lane. Completely backfires onto the side of Geek Fan and cost them everyone except Fan Fans. We talked about that. The Mars, he almost got the PL and in the end and he got the ball. Oh. Look at this, he came to clear the way they can hear him clear. The BKB is going to be used by Carl. He's going to chase him with the Wukong. The arena goes down. The combo is going to be used, but they are so good. That tanky, they're going to turn onto them right now. Get in the low here. He's going to turn around, but Rubik's already dead. 100 seconds on the sideline. Trying to get the Dark Seal low down half HP, but now they're looking to turn around. Zephyr just trying to hold his ground and retreat, but they've already lost the Lich again. They will lose the Mars as well as he falls. And on the side, Dark Seal just wasting their time as he escapes. Free dead as they find the big kill on the Monkey King. They're in the the base and boom ID. They do not want to leave anymore. Cuckoo gonna be found out and killed off. They forced the buy back out of Carl. The morph is farming, so they kinda need to shut them down, but that's a nice hook shot, and this should be a deadline. Yeah, they want to get more though, because it's, it's it feels like an easy kill on so But the dude comes down to dream himself to turn around opportunity. They move in with the battle trance or chase and net one down. Hyde can't get away either. And accelerate. Headshot. Gone already. Oracle now dead. They need to retreat. Raven trying to actually make his escape. Being betrayed by his own creeps. BKB goes in the hive, but there's the cogs to separate it. Five back to come out. Their science eclipse does get dropped straight away. Accelerate trying to escape. It doesn't really matter if he dies in the state. They need to find a bigger target. The Doom out on the Dreamer cell. They can't allow him to run away like this. But the BKB is stopping them from locking him down. Shotgun out. Back line. Find the troll. Raven is dead. Dreamo cell will not die though. He'll tick out to the Doom. And the fight does continue on. As Carl stands up against FBZ, this is a slowly losing fight for FBZ. He needs to retreat quickly. Makoto gets pinged out, accelerates, somehow has survived through all of this as Cuckoo did actually manage to deny himself to Roche. Can we count on Carl down here? Whitemon has good positioning. He wasn't quite spotted out here, so he can protect, but he's found now. He has to false promise himself, and they will actually be able to coordinate that and look on the Carl. Instead, Ice Blast flies through. 
White Mon should be taken out for this. Finger thrown out though. Dream itself does die as they use the Doom as well. But in return, the Oracle is now dead. Cuckoo's BKB is not going to last much longer. Makoto trying to stand his ground and move away. Nice Cogs coming up from high to save the day. Raven, his BKB is getting low as well. But FBZ is out of mana and blocked by the Cogs of his own teammate. The Astral does trap another on the side and brings him out into a mess. As Accelerate is a little bit too far for Wuldarf. FBZ, Sans Eclipse, just screw up. Why not? So you need to get your damage from elsewhere. And right now, as you said, Void Spirit is way too underfarmed. And Exhilarate is way too dead. That should be a full retreat. However, they see the opportunity to call. They may be baiting themselves in. They'll chase through, they'll get the Aegis, but will it cost them anything? The movement in, the hide, if he gets hit, there it is. One root will secure his death, and they might be able to get FBZ as well. They'll move in. Astro's gonna be there. They ping the bigger target. Because they saw him. Lincoln has been popped as well. He's gonna actually move towards Zephyr. So fine. If I'm going to my grave, you come with me. The Glimmer Cape gets him away. Zephyr is gonna live. Dreamer Cell used the BKB. He needs to retreat quickly though. And they're gonna hunt in here. Up to the high ground. Carl looking to just cut him off, but he won't be out too quick enough. Instead, the Astro's onto a different target. They have found an additional enemy to bring down for Dreamer Cell. The biggest one they can find. Void Spirit. No elusiveness. They're moving in. TP's to the left. Cuckoo almost down to half HP right now. And Carl chasing on to disarm. Sans up as well. They're trying to burst for him, but he's so goddamn tanky to jump in. Raven goes straight into Mikoto. He's trying to stand up against this, but he has not got enough health. They drop the big hammer down and smash his face in. Has to buy back straight away. And they really haven't put a dent in. They're going to chase in an Oracle with these false problems himself. But Dreamer Cell himself is in trouble and dead. Gone for 85 seconds. No way back in the game. They're going to pursue through. Hyde is also found. Trapped Raven in the cold. That wasn't what he wanted, but it's what he's going to damn well get. And look, Carl's not done yet. Cuckoo's trying to sell more kills for him as Makoto's going to be found out. Carl doesn't quite get it himself, actually. He gets snatched away by Cuckoo, so no chance of the Rampage, but there will be more heroes dying. However, if they rotate the Lina in as well, maybe they can do something. For right now, it's just Gustic versus the world. Ice Blast's going to come in. Arena's been committed. It will cause a travesty and deforestation. And Pio is arriving. It's a retreat. Passion needs to get out quickly. Dendi's slowed down by Slayer on the side. He's gonna give his life for the cause. The problem is, I've already lost the Lich, so I lose the Rubik as well. No, I need to do the combo <laughs> properly to look good, yeah. Dendi, he's gonna do his combo properly. But there's the arena going down. They're looking at Dendi. They don't have the damage though. Pasha, he needs to run. There is no way you can run, no way you can hide. Reinforce will come in. The Chain Frost bouncing around unfavorably for the side of bait, but there's the Terrorizer to scale away. It gives space. Dendi, even though he's netted up, there's no one to pursue. They scare away the Naga, because he's hit up by the Curse Crown, and Magical needs to try and just beeline to the, the tree line and stay safe. It's combos with uh, this Mars. Oh, let's see. Stampede. Well, anything you want now that Mars doesn't have his combo. The Stampede comes in. Magical is controlled up. They're going to protect it for the time being. Pio is locked in on the side. He will dodge out the Requiem and kill off Ilias, though. And Magical now needs to run for the high hills. But Pio's going to keep on chasing. The Shadow Room not enough. The stab in Pio. He won't even give his life for this. The movement in Slayer. Slayer. is greedy. He wanted it with a blink strike, but it wasn't good enough. There will be a cleanup coming up from Mars. But now Pasha will give his life just for that measly kill on a Ricky. Yeah. Four for the price of one. Remember, Naga. <laughs> Farming. <laughs> That's what matters. Farming. <laughs> That's the play. <laughs> Crystallize. Moving in. Crystallize. Feeling pretty tanky. Has the BKB to work with, so isn't too scared right now. Terrorize is going to come through, though. He didn't use the BKB. The Arena's going to go down. Just trying to cover their escape. Might do good enough. Pasha does get stunned up, though. And the song's going to come up. But Pio has that BKB. They might just try and right-click into him. He has got the smoke screen down to protect himself. And Pasha holds his ground. Shield, forward, move away. Jump in. BKB, Ghost Stick goes in. Connect on the Crystallize. Not the target though. Pio's gonna be brought down. Dead for 70 seconds. Magical to scare them away. And Ghost Stick, nowhere to run. The Chain Frost bouncers are not favoring him. Magical. Ooh. Oh, hold on a second. That revealed a little bit of something. Pio does get hexed up. Stampede to get him away though. Denny Light Strike Array. It will be a whiff. And Crystallize, he could just use a song here to set up. Has the BKB. Terrorize won't affect him. Magical sidesteps are perfectly. And now they jump in. Arena goes down. Dendi is the target. Pinned against these walls and lifted for so long. He should be going down here. In the meantime, King R is also going to die. Stun on the side. Passion moved away so he doesn't connect with his teammates. And the Aegis has been taken away from them. Pio, he's melting due to this minus armor. The BKB still running for the moment. Hunting on the Magical. And Dendi's been left behind by his teammates. BKB to try and reconvene with them. And the turnaround. The Hex is going to come out. The control is good on the Pio. Going to get him low. But blink away in time by Shadow Fiend means they can't find him. And Dendi. Oh no, he had this experience before he went down once. Crystallize here again. Everyone is trying to ignore Naga, but you can't ignore her when she obliterates you this fast. And King R, well, this was his buyback, and he's gonna probably go down again. They haven't got the mana to protect him, the smoke screen to try and help the roots. Who cares? Crystallize will stand there. Nice spear back, pinned against the wall. Ghostic being melted down, even with no mana, he feels the might of the Naga. 
will be felt. 75 seconds on the sideline. Arena just for the kill on the Willow. Pluck that Pixie's wings. So that's pretty much he tried for it. He'll get the stun. He's under tower though. TPs are coming in and Dazzle's there. He's always waiting. King R perfectly understands what they're trying to do in this game. And all they're going to do now is die on the side of Na'Vi. Ghostic will not even die off. Pasha also falls. He always has a way out. Void Spirit as well. But you need to be careful with your Necro's positioning. Some oh. highlight and they're definitely doing it well. They want to contest. We're going to kill him off quickly, but he's still got damn tanky. He'll make it out again. Stun from Slayer looks good, but he's not that tanky. Spike Carapus means they can't hit into him, however. The reset will favor the side of fate. His match goes a little bit too far forward. Control is out for the Remnant. Barely One stun. him. Dendi stunned up. Shallow Grave to save the day. He doesn't have that Wreck Room, of course. It's already been used. They used to buy a little bit more time so they can kill him off at the end. It hurts a lot, but not enough for them to care. They lose Slayer, they find bigger targets. Has to die back on King Arp. He will throw back a Remnant to be safe. And Ghostic is still alive through all of this. They no longer have that Scythe to work with, so they have to try and will him down. But the Quills are stacking up. They're going to keep hunting this. Ghostic, he's playing with fire here. Sometimes you get burned. He might, in fact, just about live. Especially if he's already used the Shroud. And as you said, That's beautifully all. done the choke points. Slayer, stun on the two. They'll hit up the chains. They're moving in right now. A lot of damage being dished out here. Dendi sight and blown up. He's gone. LeBron will join him in the grave. Slayer might give his life, but Ghosting needs to be careful being in this area because he's taking a lot of damage. They're going to surround him. Who cares about Quills? Who cares about stacking damage? One tower will be taken by Na'Vi, but they can't pursue for more right now. Crystallize. The turnaround opportunity. They go in on the Crystallize. Hannah got to heal him up. BKB charges straight and Ghosting to be trolled up and brought down quickly. The side thrown out and he's dead for 75. They force the buyback out of the Dazzle, but not in time for him to actually save anyone. He might be able to save Pio, who's going to need some serious assistance. But the Yules, they interrupt him. They're going to get a second kill. The kisses from the tree line. LeBron knows they have no Spike Carapace. He will at least find vengeance on the magical. Strafed as uh, Moon's going to get jumped on here. They pop the spot and they oh, the swap it. No. What? what are you doing, Moon Meander? That's your... Okay. All right. That's um. That's fine. Moving on. They're, both dead, they're both dead So Cloud9, they've really... Uh, Im I think they've improved so much recently. And as you can see here, this is just beautiful Dota right now. Oh, they're going to cliff him. Oh, but no, they actually drag him off the other side. Oh, no. Kezu, he's just going to get destroyed by us in the back lines. Meanwhile, Stone Gaze not doing a whole lot. Pylidai might lose his life, but Misery opting to cliff himself instead. Pouncing up there, having some Brawl fun. Has Meanwhile, the Ace, they're finding Bra. They've got rid of the mana. Moon Meander is going to get a nice swap off and trying to save the day. And, but Moon Meander dying. Come on, buddy. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's 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 a sack. Although Bryle's here as well, and uh, they have this Batrider coming on over for Crazy here, so um, they're actually going to try and take this fight. Mumiander running low on HP, tries to go for the swap, won't get it off, so the Stone Gate's coming out from Bryle. Ace did use his ultimate, so he's frozen solid. Can they bring him down? Well, might be able to, but I believe he has the Aegis anyway, so he continues fighting on through it, and he's surviving. He the mech comes out. Bryle's out of mana. Bryle's actually going to go down before Ace even dies once. Yeah, the last two, they're going dragging on. out the Bristleback right now. Envy bought out of position. They're trying to get in front of him with the Stone Gaze, but the arrow, it catches onto Bryle. Snaking jumping into the back line as well, trying to control him up. This huge ice blast comes in as well. Envy just comes running fight. back into the base, and they're on the run. Crazy, they're scattered. They're like sheep running from the rules right now, and Bryle's going to get swapped out, but it doesn't even matter. He gets dropped. Mimi under going the same way as well. Owie heading in the same direction. Three heroes in the grave, and just like that. It's this sacrifice of Snaking, opting to position himself mid. Look, he's already mid. It's a dual core at mid. At 10 minutes. Uh, that's a Reaper Scythe coming down. They're going to throw the Stampede oh. down as well, but Bryle, he's managed to get the jump away. Now they're both stuck. Oh no, Kezu, he's going to pop the goat, and it looks like Snaking shall drop. Envy not looking that healthy himself. Oh, he's coming on over just to make sure they can bring down Eternal Envy, and they certainly shall. Yeah, Misery's looking low, but Envy happy to just sit on the front lines. You can Spirit Scythe me all you like. I've got heals for days, kids. Meanwhile, in they go. The, the ultimate deck. comes out. Kezu trying to bring it down, and they will Ooh. be able to do so with the help of Skitter. Envy now in some trouble. Has he spot the boat goes out here, but they'll be able to control him up with the electric Vortex Snaking coming in, trying to help him out, but signs in response, he can't get it up in time. Dugong is going to come down, but Misery and Envy are already dead. It looks like Skidder might be dropped for crazy here, so they're going to get one in response. Can they get more? Cloud9 now on the aggressive, and Ace is going to come flying on through, but Brown meets oh. him with a big fat wall of nope, as he is going to be able to take down the monkey. Yes, he will drop. Meanwhile, Snaky going for the TP out. The yeah, that like is true. Meets you, Hammer, Nick, the so. pipe. This is so yeah, good. It, like it. it bridges some of this early. Oh, uh, the bash on Misery. 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 Oh, buddy. no, he just dies alone in the tree. A sad death indeed, but will Skidder pay the price? He's trying to turn around. He's trying to fight him right now, using that in rage, using that stage for to get himself to safety, and he does get himself out. Kezu, though, he's not going to have to save.
same luxury. And that was an exism pop, by the way. Goes down immediately, gets nothing done with it. Pilot I'd die. Not even going to die to Brawl on the back lines. Brawl could actually be in some trouble. Oh no, he tried to get rid of that perch. And now he's getting surrounded. But Mumiana coming to help him out as well. Going to throw out the stun. It's going to miss. Meanwhile, Snaking comes in. He doesn't miss with his. Stomp lands. Meanwhile, Aoi getting off some damage on the side. They will be able to tear through Mumiana now. And they so load more sustain. Aoi. So much sustain from Envy. Yeah, just sitting on the front lines, healing them up. And now Aoi just going to throw in his life. Zip back to a good location. Meaning the fight's now already very disconnected on Crazy. And Bryle getting picked off. One Double stun. Yeah, the root. they've got him. There it is. Dead yeah. to rights. Uh, Skidder. Well, he's going to turn around and again just bashing Misery to death. Is he going to pay the price though? Kezu's coming in, trying to help him out here, but Kezu does not There's have an ultimate, but never mind. They're going to buy it back, and a nice two man stun is going to set up nicely. Are uh, they going to be able to bring down by oh, Yeah, Brawl comes zipping in through the back lines. Ace is going to get dropped. Snaking, he is dead. This should be Roshan well. right Brawl now. Go, go Roshan. Gonna run himself forward, and in comes a big jump Going straight onto the Oracle. Straight onto Pilot I Die. If they could take him down, this would be a great start to the pipe, but they both get stunned up in response. And now, with the Wukongs coming out, Crazy have to back themselves away. Where is the rest of their heroes? Well, they are also on the run right now. Mumiander gonna slow them down with that Spike Carapace, but he has been slowed down himself. And now they're gonna throw down the Spirit Vessel, the damage coming into Mumiander. Mumiander gets himself to safety. They're gonna throw down the Egg. Skidder's just gonna turn around and try and kill that one, but was it a bait? Well, they do get the Egg down, and now they turn their attention to more heroes. Ace may be in some trouble, and look at Kezu with the the ultimate with the spirit siphons. A siphon is going to come down and take down Misery as oh. Mumiana limps away from the fight. Kezu trying to fight up into everybody. Brawl coming over as well. It could go anybody's way. Ace is going to drop though. Envy, he's going to get saved by the Oracle as in they come trying to bring him down. I think they've done enough damage to maybe finish the job. They certainly have. Envy drops, snaking, heading the same way as well. Crazy to make any moves, right? Like they can sure go for this, but he, uh, Misery, look, he has the buyback. Buy back. This is what they wanted. Meanwhile, Ryle, he's looking himself to go on to, uh, well, the back lines, really back lines here as they get Where's around. the Oracle? The ace, there's nobody saving him. Where is Pilot Die? He got science in the back lines. Kezu doing work here. But as they jump into E here, it's... Hold up. Abyssal Blade. Blade coming out, the damage coming down as well, but he's able to get off the Stampede along with the jump, but in comes Ryle with that Agonyms with the Storm Spirit. Electric Vortexes, Ace is getting beaten down, the two of them sized up, the save is going to come on, but it comes onto E as he heals himself as well. The Egg is getting a decent amount of work over the back lines, and Envy's still surviving through this one. Do they have the survivability Cloud9 to actually turn this fight around? It's looking unlikely, as Brawl just jump in Ace, and now Ooh. the damage comes in, another stun, another Electric Vortex, onto three, grouping them up, beating them down, and crazy, find themselves an easy triple kill. It's going to be a rough time, and oh, Kezu, he's getting the farm. Misery. Beautiful TP, goodbye, see ya. But again, what is he really achieving on the map? Uh, Bryle could be in some trouble here. He's been tracked up. Glimpse back as well. Do they have the damage to finish the job though? Envy doesn't come in with the right click in time. And the now Kezu Thunder here strike. as well. It's not enough. And Bryle, he's thinking of coming back in because he wants to commit the rupture. And now the arrow comes through onto Pilar. Die, they get one. They'll get themselves a second here. But, uh, this, is the, this is the beauty oh, of this draw from Crazy. This they do collapse. have an ultimate on Pilar Die, but uh, they don't have the Exorcism just yet. But Misery's the one in trouble. Zyara connects, the damage is there, and well, she's lasting a while with this Spirit Siphon, but does go down all the same. But two heroes caught inside this ultimate right now, and they're going to be able to take down Pilar Die, but the return kill comes through. Aoi does drop, and uh, well, Royal Kezu is going to get killed up by Envy on the back lines. Brawl's not particularly healthy either. As Mumiander comes forward, they have the finishing blow, though they don't. They can't finish the job. And Aoi connects from Mumiander as well, just trying to slow him down. Mumiander going to get the leap up onto the high ground. Needs to take care of this little pesky bug. But they are chasing the two Invis heroes, making their way Ooh. forwards, and they will have the damage. Prophet, he's got Medallion and Vlad going for the right click. So yeah, I think AC, pump out that damage, enable the rest mm. of your team. <laughs> Snaking does get the deny here. Is he tanky enough to survive this one? Arrow's going to come his way. Burrow time being popped, easing his way through but the trees. The rest of the though. team, they're turning up on this one, and they want to turn this fight around. And Aoi, caught on the back line. The he doesn't stand a chance here, and they glimpse the extra hero. That's the track glimpse combo. He Holding have, oh, Skidder he still. Ult. He doesn't. He's, he's running out of options, but they're going to turn around and try and fight this one. Snake in the back line doesn't have the ultimate either, and he's going to get killed off. But they did kill Skidder in the meantime. Meanwhile, Moon Meander trying to fight off on the sidelines here and find the target onto the Disruptor. A messy old fight, but Pilot Die does drop, and now Moon Meander trying to get himself oh. away, but no! he's got to uh, get his cucumber sliced up by Misery. But uh, they're playing, uh oh, Skinner being a uh, glimpse back into that. Oh my goodness, the damage coming out from Eternal Envy with that double damage room, but an arrow heading his way, set up with Demonic Purge. Can they finish the job? But Envy, he, he's surviving. He's How are they going to survive through this? He's, he's actually just there. Okay, finally does go down. And now, oh, Jesus, Bryle moving a million miles an hour as Ace needs to get himself away as well. Does have the Aegis. Snaking with the borrowed time, running out on him, makes himself sitting duck. Um, but no, never mind, does have the borrowed time. And he's going to be able to run himself out. Ace as well, getting to the other side. The vision is on to him. Mumiand a double leaping forward here, trying to find something. Not fearing anything right oh, now. Oh, nice. Oh, okay. They're starting to get these tracks off, though. I mean, 
The arrow wow. is connecting onto Ace, and they don't have the shield because they just used it. Finally, does come off cooldown, but is it too late? Brawl is coming, surging and forwards a thousand miles an hour, but once again, Glyph's back all around the place, doesn't have much health, but can't really commit to anything right now. Everybody dropping so low. Ace is going to drop for the first time. Pilot Dice surrounded by creeps, surrounded by heroes. He's killed off as well, and with Ace coming back for the second nice time, arrow. can he get off oh. anything? He cannot. Not being scared, especially with the Aegis disadvantage. Yeah, absolutely. And talking about not being scared, Brawl just going for the rupture onto Pylai Dai. The Wrath of Nature coming in through as well. Kezu TPing in from behind. Pylai Dai just dropping the LTL in the cell, but it's not going to do much as he falls down. Meanwhile, the Exism has been popped by the Death Prophet, and they want to try and take her down. And look at the damage coming through. Misery trying to fight up with the Spirit of Siphons, but cannot do so. The damage is too severe. And now they found Envy once again. Yeah. Yeah, that's uh, that's that's the value right there. They're running in, just ramming his face into Skidder right now. Skidder though, happy. You just take some chunks at him. Meanwhile, in comes the exit, and now Misery got to be too careful about coming himself onto the front lines here. And he's gonna throw down the yields, but when he comes down, are they gonna take this fight? Well, they're gonna drop the ultimate on top of him as well from disruptor for Skidder. He's losing his health, but Misery will drop. No exit, and now available, and it's just Skidder. He is a raid king. He's coming back yeah. to life, and Snaking's about to lose that borrowed time with an arrow coming sailing on through. They should be able to take down the Abaddon, and we just gotta go for the BKB TP out. But no, he gets bashed up. Taken down, that's gonna be three heroes dead on the side of Cloud9. He's gonna wanna TP into vulnerable positions. He can now play a little bit confident. And then they go jumping onto a tunnel and gonna be the first target here. And the actually arrow misses, yeah, but it doesn't make a difference. Nope. BKB or not, mind you, misery. He's just spirit siphoning three heroes and charging headfirst into everybody right now. And not doing a bad job, but unfortunately not getting much done either. It's Ace, he's actually just gonna die straight up to the rupture and to Kezu's right clicks. Your Weaver is dead, your big damage is dead. Misery, you might have your exorcism going, you might have survived a long time, you might be tanky, but it doesn't really make Get a ready. difference. We're gonna learn, we're not gonna just roll over this, it's easy. Adapting from game to game, and now it's gonna look very convincing, 2-1 to crazy. Yeah, I, the tier I just don't fours. see a way back. Being taken down, Misery Abyssal Blade out on Tim. He is tanky, but unfortunately not quite well. Maybe tanky enough as the ultimate going to come out, but unfortunately the BKBs are being popped. Envy trying to fight up on the front lines here, trying to get something, anything done, but it's looking too desperate. They've got so much health still on the side of Crazy. And, uh, well, they get Owie, but that I think is all they're going to get as uh, Misery and Snaking both head off to the grave.